Hello and welcome to my channel again. Uh, well, here's what today's subject is. Are you looking to retire, uh, move? Are you looking for a country that is uh, safe, easy to retire to, easy to move to, and fairly affordable and still being in Europe? And if yes, I will tell you all about it right after this. Well, like I said, if you're looking for a country that is safe, easy to retire to, and still very affordable, well, you probably heard about this country for a very long time, and I hate to say it, it wasn't really um, nice things that you heard about this country, not much in this country's favor. However, times have changed. I'm not going to tell you that, you know, there's nothing wrong here, but I will tell you, I moved here with my wife from Florida 10 years ago, and we never looked back, did we? No. Now, lots of you are saying, well, tell us what country this is. Well, do you want to tell them what country this is? We moved to Serbia. Yes, we moved from, to Serbia from Florida. One of the big things that it was, first of all, you know, Florida, it's always hot, and you move into a country that is four seasons. Well, even though right now I'm not really sure that there are four seasons anymore. It's hot in the winter, it's hot in the summer, it's hot in the fall. Right now we are in, uh, and towards the end of September, and the temperature is still about 25 Celsius. Uh, now, why am I telling you that is uh, easy to move to this country. Well, all you have to do is basically uh, buy a property, buy a house, buy an apartment in Serbia. And even though a lot of people will tell you, you know what, you cannot own uh, land in Serbia. And it's true, you cannot own land in Serbia. However, you could buy a house in Serbia and naturally the land around that house will also belong to you but you could also buy an apartment. And the reality, you could buy them fairly cheap if you decide, you know what, I'm not gonna sit in a major city like Belgrade or Novi Sad or Nish. As soon as you get out about 30, 40, 50, like for example, we bought a house about 60 kilometers from Belgrade. It's a nice, quiet town. Uh, not in one hour, we are in Belgrade, and in about 20 minutes, we are in the city of Smederevo, city of Kovin. So, the reality is not far from, you know, things that you want to be to, but at the same time, you are a nice, quiet place. And if you're looking for, uh, you know, a smaller town like this, you could buy a property for 50, 40, 30, and even $10,000. And when you bought that property, that house, or that apartment, you could actually get your papers right here. And it was easy for you too, right? And by the way, my wife never left uh, North America, and now she's been living here in Serbia for the last 10 years, and she could even speak some Serbian, but she's not gonna do that today because she's kind of shy, you know? Are you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay, now, once you own a property here in Serbia, well, basically you're eligible to get uh, residency here in Serbia uh, all you have to prove that you own that house, that you own that apartment. Um, I have a small bank account. I think for uh, one person it's like $1,500 uh, for uh, a family, you know, like two people, it's around three, four $4,000. All you have to do is put in a bank account. Now, the reality that in Serbia, the insurance basically is um, social medicine. So, you would have to pay for your own, you know, doctors and uh, hospitals and stuff like that. Now, there are many private good doctors here. 
And uh, the reality is that once you get your uh, residency here, you could actually apply for social medicine. So you'll be paying, you know, for it. You know, part of your pension will go towards that, but you could pay for it, and you're entitled to it too. Now, let's say you decide, you know what? I don't want to buy a house in Serbia. I just want to live in Serbia, but I don't want to buy a house. That's not a problem either. All you have to do is, like I said, open a bank account here in Serbia. Uh, if you're single, it's $1,500, and then you could also apply for residency here in Serbia. Yes, you need proof of medical insurance, but all you have to do is get you know, travel insurance. And then uh, you'll get a temporary residence, which is valid for one year. And after three years, you could get your perma permanent residency. Well, actually, after three years, you could even get your citizenship, citizenship here in Serbia. Now, you know, if you want to decide, you know what? I want to sit for a while, look at the country, see if the country is right for me. Well, guess what? As an American, Canadian, or even some Western European countries, Australian, well, you got 90 days to make up your mind because you will get a visa here for 90 days. And if that's not enough, well, you know, there are many countries around Serbia that are very close to Serbia, and we've traveled through a lot of them. We've been uh, in Greece a couple of times, Romania, Poland, uh, Czech Republic. Lately, we even went back to America, and we went to Mexico and uh, Nicaragua and Costa Rica. And one of the reasons we've been able to do that because Serbia is still very affordable. Yes, it's not a, as affordable as it was maybe before Corona, but you could still live in Serbia for about $1,000, $1,500 a month. Uh, and if you don't own a house, that money includes paying rent. Obviously, if you're not staying in a city like Belgrade, where uh, it's more expensive, stay in a smaller city or even in a town like we do. Now, like I said, you need about $1,000, $1,500 to live fairly comfortable here in Serbia. Now, yes, Serbia does not have a beach, you know, like it doesn't have an ocean. But guess what? It's easy to get to Greece. I mean, you sit in a car in six hours, you're in Greece. Uh, or Montenegro, or Croatia. So if you love the beaches, it's not hard. However, Serbia's got many rivers and lakes, and we enjoy that just as much as we enjoy the beaches, and there are beautiful mountains here in Serbia, and there are many beautiful things that you could enjoy. Now, the country is fairly safe, even though, you know, a lot of people, even Serbians will tell you, you know, uh, it's dangerous to live in Serbia. There are bad people, there are thieves, there are this and that. And guess what? We lived here for 10 years. Did you have any problems? Not one. And, you know, we've been, we traveled all over Serbia. We've been just about everywhere in Serbia. We never worried that, you know, something bad is going to happen to us. Now, I always suggest if you don't speak the language and if you uh, don't know much about Serbia and if you want to move to Serbia, get an attorney, but get a uh, immigration attorney. Because if you don't, for example, there's a lot of attorneys that deal with real estate and you tell them that you want to buy a house. And believe it or not, even attorneys will tell you, oh, no, 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 you cannot own a house, which is not true. Because Frances, she is American. Before we moved here, I, yeah. owned, I owned a house. Yeah, and she, she owns a house here in Serbia. Or we own a house in, here in Serbia. Even before we moved into Serbia. So the reality is, find out things for yourself before you listen to this person or the other person. Come here in Serbia. It's not, now, if you have any questions, well, I'm not an attorney. Uh, and right now, I cannot recommend an attorney for you because my YouTube channel is still small. But who knows? Maybe an attorney will call me and they'll give you an advice on what you need. 
But I could tell you that yes, you can own a house in Serbia. Yes, you can own an apartment in Serbia. Yes, you could open a bank account here in Serbia. This is not a problem. Like many countries that we looked into for retiring, if you're not a citizen of that particular country, you cannot open a bank account. But yes, in Serbia, most definitely, you could open a bank account. Now, if you have many questions, ask anything. I will uh, put my um, email address in the uh, description or below the description. So in the comment section, so you could write me an email. You could uh, uh, just leave a, a comment here. Uh, leave a like on this video because the more like, the more people leaves a like or not a like, will get the, uh, better, more views in the YouTube. Now, again, don't forget subscribe, uh, comments. And I will talk to you in the next video. Have a nice day. Oh, and by the way, uh, the one inform important thing about coming into Serbia, once you arrive in Serbia, you have to register with the police. Now, if you stay in a the hotel, they will do that for you. However, once you uh, stay in a private home, just tell the person, listen, register me because you do need to register in order to stay in Serbia. It's no big deal. You just go over there with your passport, fill up some paperwork, and that's it. And when you leave, you have to take that paperwork with you and show it out to people. Now, where we are located right now? We are located in Smederevo, and this is Smederevo Fortress right here. And I'll talk to you in the next video.